Yes, people, welcome to a brand new episode of Titan Talk. It's your boy Kyojin. It's the good AD, man. Um, about to do a, like an emergency episode. Well, not like an emergency episode, but we're here to talk about, as of today, as of when we're recording, it's Monday, yesterday's game in the European, fi- European Cup final, European Championship final, the Euros. And uh, really, 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 I say what can I say, but there's a lot to say because a lot of, a lot of things have happened. Um, but I think first and foremost, like I think what, what's best to get out of the way and what is like what comes first, in my opinion, and what needs to be said first is that like we have to thank the players because, you know, we lost and it hurts. That we lost. I can't lie, but I've been sad all day. I can't lie. Like I, I think to myself, like it didn't happen. But then I remember it did happen. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, can we go back in time? I, like, in my head, the match is still going on. And we're still waiting for, like, the fifth and the sixth and the seventh penalty. And so that's how I'm feeling. But at the end of the day, we lost to probably the best team in the tournament. Like, if we were second best, they were definitely the best team in the tournament. They are the best team in the tournament. They won. No, but as in, like, sometimes the best team doesn't win. They've, <laughs> like, you know, like, for example, Portugal in 20... 16 they won one game in the group stages and won the won the, won the t- whole tournament at the end yeah so like sometimes you can you can you can you can g- g- gain momentum at the end and win yeah but early have been good from the beginning uh, so there's no shame in losing to them like that it's a shame that we lost the way that we did because i thought we could have won you know we scored like in the first three minutes once when, when when pickford saved Jorginho's penny i that's when i believed i believed like you know what is coming home. There's no way it's not coming home because who who saves a Jorginho penny? I've never seen. I have seen it like three times in my life, but other than that, he's scored like 19 penalties for Chelsea. Right? And then I thought uh, we're gonna win. And then uh, abruptly, you know, Saka misses his one and we and we lose. But I think uh, I said we need to say this first and foremost. But I've kind of elongated it. But first and foremost, we need to say thank you because even though we lost, bro, this has been a banging summer. An amazing it's a sick summer still, I can't lie. Bro, the memories, the happiness, the enjoyment that I got from watching England, bro. All, all I know from England is tears. <laughs> Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Do you know what I mean? All I've known, bro, we went out in the Euros of the World Cup, I can't remember, out to, to I- Iceland. Iceland, that's where moms go. Yeah. yeah. And, and you're telling me we got beaten by them. In the, we, had, we had the golden generation, Rooney, Gerard, uh, Lampard, all them, man. And, and all I knew was heartbreak. You know, David Beckham. I used to, bro. I used to shave my head, shave my head bald like David Beckham. When he had spiky hair, I had spiky hair. I used to have the number seven. You know, David Beckham red red shirt. Yeah, everyone had a David Beckham shirt, blood. And and it, and then they, they just let me down. But this team is the team that we have now is so likable. Do you know what I mean what what is not to like about them? And I think first and foremost, despite everything that's happened in the last twenty four hours, forty eight hours, or whatever, they should be so proud of themselves that. They were able to give everyone these memories and they work so hard and they're so fucking likable. That's like Man. the main thing. I, bro, I love them. I can't lie. Yeah, bro. Yeah, so I think that, that that was important to say that they should be so proud of themselves because especially after such a shit year, a year and a half with COVID, and like and and a whole like I don't know how how long we've been under this Tory government, like watching this leadership that we've had under this shitty government and people like austerity and and people dying from covid and stuff like that having a summer of enjoyment is like we will never be able to repay them yet some people mm-hmm. f- some people are so entitled and so racist that that's not even the first thought in their mind so this is a, maybe a bit like to con- contextualize a little bit um what well, i knew uh, when when rashford misses one by the way, can we can we get this out of the way? Yeah, Rashford's penalty was not a bad penalty, in my opinion. Because he, bro, I was thinking of the same way, yeah, because he sent the keeper the wrong way. Bro, he sat the keeper down, yeah, and bro, deeper this way, yeah. If it hits the post an inch this way, it goes in, and that's the, one of the sickest penalties we've ever seen. Yeah, exactly. It goes in off the post. That's clean. It went an inch the other way and came out. So it happens at the end of the day, man. And plus, yeah, he's, he wasn't warm when he when he started the thing. Yeah, he came. They literally put him on the last minute, man. You can't expect a guy, a guy to literally come off the bench and take a penalty, man. So I knew, I I just knew that when once that happened, he missed his one, then I, then Sancho missed his one, and Saka missed his one, and I just knew I was like, bro, the racists are gonna have a field. You game know, I didn't clock yet yeah, that the only players I missed it were black. I that I fully like 
I, I, in my head, I just thought Saka was going to hold it because it was the last one. And also, people are most likely to remember the last penalty more than anything, in it. Mm. So then I just thought Haka, Saka was going to, man, man I was going to say a hacker, you know. Um, yeah. Saka was going to hold it, but I didn't clock until after that. They were all black. Yeah. Even like, I, in, during the night, because after the night, yeah, after the game, obviously, um, man, them like dispersed and done whatever, yeah. I only clocked like the next, like, like today, this afternoon, like, oh, right, they were all black. Not only did England lose the game, but they lost a bet for me. Um, that if England lose, I will shave off my beard and just keep a moustache. And uh, that's why I, I look like this now. That's why you look like you should be banned from all local playgrounds. Get out of here. My sister said, I look Italian now. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you can't beat him, join them. Join them. <laughs> but even that, yeah, it was lit though. I can't lie, but where we want to go, watch it, experience, it was bro. lit, bro. I big out the, the big out the guy that bought the horn, fam, because he turned it up, fam. Man he bought a Vuvuzela to bang bang, you know. Yeah, he bought a Vuvuzela, treat it like uh, South Africa 2010, you know. I remember the uh. Vuvuzelas. That was that was lit. That was such a sick experience, and I think even though we lost at the end again. Do it was a mean? good I day, was, man. It was a good day overall. Like it was still a good that, day. That memory is gonna stick with me forever. All right, in the history books, yeah, people who weren't alive now, yeah, will be like, "Oh, England never won the trophy." Yeah, but we, it, it, like, experiences and memories are different from that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, you experience the actual tournament. You don't experience that. Oh, we lifted the trophy at the end. At the end of the day, you experience the goal going in, Pickford saving Jorginho's penalty, the celebration, dashing stuff it was around. A bad- Oh, no, Pickford is a bad boy, bro. Have you seen that clip of him? Where he's like, he's about to save a penalty. Yeah, he he. Before he's about to save a penalty, he's, he's like talking to the other goes, "No problem, no problem." <laughs> to himself. Yeah, yeah. He's just nodding to himself, goes, "Yeah, no problem, no problem." <laughs> he's so he's so cute, man. And then he saved it as well. He's so cute. Yeah. So <clears throat> that was that was pretty uh pretty good time. But then I even I went on Twitter like straight after Saka misses one. All I saw is people were saying like, you know everybody who's like a person of color particularly black people like if you're out and about go home because it's it's all kicking off there are some people who have been driving like an anti-england team or anti-football narrative and using this to drive an anti-football narrative and it the reason why it annoys me yeah, yeah and the reason why it annoys me is because people are like oh this is why football is bad this is why football fans are bad and it's like i feel like english football fans are just a reflection on english society it's not it's not like, oh, uh, well, I don't like football, so I can't be racist. Do you, do you know what I mean? That's what be- yeah, yeah, yeah. I think one of the biggest things in terms of racism and Islamophobia and xenophobia and everything, every sort of like, uh, uh, I don't know what you call them, like, like racism or anything like that, yeah? Um, any of those things. The issue with that is people w- love to shift the blame onto others rather than admit there's an issue. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? So there'll be the, the, the journalists be like, oh, nice to fans. The fans would be like nice to journalists. The women would be like nice to men. The the men would be like nice only the white men. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what, do you know what I'm trying to say? Like everyone's trying to shift, bro. When everyone has, was having a conversation about racism last summer, yeah, there was just a bunch of like I remember because obviously I'm brown, so you pick up on these things, innit? There was a bunch of brown girls coming on on online and being like, oh yeah, my family are so racist, and they were just using it as a reason, like a like a like a card to say like, yo, I'm not racist, but my family are like. Why do you not say anything to them about it then? Exactly, yeah. Like, how can you proudly brag about it just to show that you're not racist? Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm not like them. I'm not like them. Like, bro, they're your family. They're commu- your community. Like, hold hold them accountable. Do you know what I mean? Instead of bragging about it on, on Twitter just to prove that you're I don't not- understand. I don't understand why people have to come to fucking, like, to Twitter to say that anyway. It's weird. Like, I, like, I don't, ad- I, I don't address understand. that shit, fam. I don't, wanna, I don't understand what, like, what are they, or I don't know what they're trying to get brownie points or not. What does it achieve? It's, it's, it's the same people would be like, we need to have a conversation about it. Well, sit down with your uncle and your brother and your dad and have that conversation if they're, if, if they're being racist. Because I don't, I find it weird that people, uh, they made it out like uh, racism is like a, uh, a gendered thing. I think if, if, you, if you think about it, violent racism is definitely probably a gendered thing because I think men are more violent anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like men are more likely to be hooligans. Men are more likely to be aggressive and violent. Um, but racism is not gendered like racism. There's bit bro. Have, have you seen that video, uh, that SNL video? Yeah, of that guy. What's his name? You know, that comedian, the bold one, Bill Burr. I think he's in Bill Burr. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's so funny. White yeah, guy. Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
uh, and he, uh. he he went on SNL, yeah, and he was like, he did this, he did, he was, you know, the monologue, yeah, mm. and he goes like, oh, the cheek of white women, like, he's like, everyone's having this conversation about oppression, and obviously, at the time, a lot of the conversation was about, like, Black Lives Matter and stuff like that, and he's like, they're having a conversation about Black Lives Matter, and he's like, white women have somehow found a way to, like, push themselves into the front of the queue of oppression and like put all the blame on only white white men and be like well we're oppressed too and all the white men and then he was like listen you guys sat with us through years and years of history while we did all that shit yeah (laughs) and then he was and then he was like he was like oh and the one time you one time maybe when you got bored and you went to go and like be a black guy you lied about it and said it wasn't consensual and you got him killed in the end yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, David Spock goes, yeah. Um, he talks about like, uh, I forgot how it was. Yeah, he, he's still a similar sort of situation. Yeah, punchline of the joke goes, Come on, white woman, you know how it goes. You were in on the high spot, you just didn't like your cut. <laughs> I feel, I feel like that perfectly sums up, uh, the people, the. Bro, it's, 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 not, it's not like it's not like we're not saying we're saying that white women can't be oppressed here but bro, bro yeah even people like people would be like oh it's, it's not all football fans it's england fans here let me tell you something i'm hearing a lot of that from did you see what did you see what yeah, italy fans done to balotelli blood bro they made him cry bro bro but i can't yeah. lie yeah if you know about balotelli bro yeah and all the stories i heard about balotelli he's what he's hard fam like this yeah. shoot, yeah, I, like the shit that he does, bro. Like you could tell, like he's like a, like he's he, a hard guy. He's not, like, he's not like soft. Like, he, yeah, like you yeah, have yeah. to really get to him to make him cry, sort of thing, innit? Yeah, bro. He, he was sitting on the bench crying when people were doing monkey chants and stuff, and people would be like, I, I even got a comment saying like, oh, you know, like half the England fans hate you, so why do you support England? Yeah, and I was like, bro, it's the Euros, <laughs> the Euros, and you know, you're not supporting the fans, you're supporting the team. But but deeper, it's, like it's 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 the Euros. You know, in the in in Europe, yeah. A day to find me one country I'll go to, and I wouldn't get racially abused if I stayed there long enough. Norway, you know I mean? Norway, bro. You, in Norway, you Norway, yeah. Okay, Norway, yeah. I'm Muslim, bro. The the far right is rising. You don't understand how much the far right is rising in like Eastern Europe and Scandinavia and stuff like. That. There's literally I, I forgot what country is it Hungary, or something like that. One of the countries has literally has like a neo-Nazi political party leading their country. The far right is rising, and they bro, they hate Islam, they hate Muslims. Do you know what I mean? So I I can't win at all in Europe. Do you know what I mean? I might as well not watch the Euros if if I choose. You're looking at like that. that. You're looking at that with a moustache. <laughs> Shut up. Man. Do you know what I mean? I, 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 I wouldn't be able to pick a team. So obviously I pick a te- I pick the the country that I was born in. And even then as well, people people will be like, oh, I'm happy England lost, uh, because. Because they don't deserve it, but don't the players deserve it? Yeah, the players. That's the. I was talking to my cousin that the yesterday morning, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I was like, bruv, like, I, I, because I, I knew this was gonna happen. Yeah, I knew because it's the same thing with Urzel, wasn't it? And um, Benzema, Benzema. was like, when they, like, because I think I spoke, I spoke about Urzel's situation before, because I was saying that like, he's like, well, he's my favorite player, isn't it? Because he's like, he came out against the Germany national team, and he was like, well, Germ, Germ, Germany in general. He was like, uh, when I when I win and when I score goals, I'm German, but when I'm not, I'm Turkish. Mm. So I knew that. So if we lose, like I know that this team's gonna hold it, and like all these English fans are gonna go mad, and everyone's gonna be racist. For sure. But I was like, then, but I was like, bro, I wanted to win so badly that that's a sacrifice that I'm willing to make, fam. Like just so like like Sterling can bring it home for Brent, fam. Bro, imagine, bro, imagine Sterling brought the Euros back to Brent, fam. Bro, I can't. I think I would have cried, fam. I honestly think I would have cried. But if I see, if I saw Sterling touch that cup, bro, I honestly thought I would. I honestly think I would have cried, fam. You know what I'm saying? That's so. that's, an, that's another thing. People be like, oh, so you support England? Understand that England for me is North West London. I can't lie to you. Yeah, I, for I, real. For I, real. I, 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 I've been, I've been to Manchester. I've been to Birmingham. I've been to I'll all stop, these places. Yeah. Hold on one second. Let me stop you right there. Yeah. As of recent like years, I would extend that to East London as well. I like East London. Yeah, as in, I like all the, I like I, I like Birmingham. I've been there quite a bit. I, I like Manchester. It's cool. It's all right. I don't but like the thing Birmingham. is, for me, I'm I'm born and raised and grew up and spent my whole life in North West London. All I know is diversity. Birmingham is a is a larger burnt oak, man. 
fuck. I like burnt oak to be honest as well. Just, uh, you like burnt oak? Burnt oak is yeah. dead. I like I like places that are like loud and bustling and they've got multicultural shops and they're a little bit like I don't know. I know you 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 describe it as scatty, yeah, but they have like that grimy feel to it. But like like where you it's kind of like where you grew up and like you know you're safe there, kind of thing. Where I grew up is like, like, everything example, what you described, but, but even but example, I would say like, burnt oak is worse than where I grew up. Huh? For example, burnt other people might not feel safe there, but I feel like we would feel safe there because there's our people there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, true. True. You know what I mean? But yeah. What was I saying? Like so, for me, England is England is North West London. Like it's literally the borough of Brent, and it's the most diverse uh, borough in the whole country. So for me, that's all I know. And that's when, bro. When I ce- celebrate an England goal, I'm celebrating North West London. Yeah, I'm celebrating. I've never been to Yorkshire. Do you know what I mean? Bro. Do you know what I mean? I don't know Barry and D's man. They're not my friends. And then I like I like Jack nice. bro. I do like him, man. Yeah, he's from Birmingham, so that's why I said Birmingham. It's calm, oh, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think someone else is from Ealing. That's an, is Harry Kane from Ealing? Someone's from Ealing or something. Bro, all of them are from England. I don't, I don't, it doesn't really. No, Ealing. Oh, all, all I know is, all I know is like Stanley is obviously from Northwest, but he was born in Kingston, though, Jamaica. Come on, bro. And man came here, bro. Come on, man. And and look, now man's playing in the biggest stadium in the country, fam. Mm. What a lad. And, what a guy. Work. And f- for me, yeah, that, that's the thing. I think, like, you know, what I was saying before, people were like, oh, people are like shifting the blame onto other people. Yeah, people were saying like, oh, it's 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 not football fans, it's England fans, it's not UK fans, it's it's, it's football it's England fans. Yeah, and for me, a hypothetical situation. Yeah, if I see a big crowd, a, a loud and rowdy crowd of white people, yeah, and I, um, it's a one way street, and all I can do is walk that way, yeah, and they're like loud and rowdy and all that stuff, yeah. If I go in there and I'm shook, yeah, and they go, oh, don't worry, we're Welsh, I'll still be shook, fam. It yeah, doesn't matter probably. to me whether they're Welsh, Scottish, Irish. Bro, I'd probably be more scared if they're Irish and Scottish, I can't lie. Because I'm kind of, I don't know, Conor McGregor is kind of rowdy, innit? Bro, you know again, bro, McGregor lost as well last night, man. That's two L's that I held, man. I was, but, running, I was running no sleep. McGregor lost and England lost, bro. My heart could have taken it last night, bro. But what I'm trying to say is that it's all these Welsh and Scottish fans being like, oh, but it's not us. It's, we're, not, we're not like that. We're not like that. Bro, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be shook at all of you, fam. I don't really care what nationality you are. I'm shook at all large crowds of white people who are loud and rowdy. I think it's easier to say, like, oh, it's not me. It's, like, it's, it's easy to say, it's not me, it's not me, rather than to say, oh, okay, like, there's a convert, like, we need to talk about this or we need to address this situation. Yeah, but just because it's easier... It doesn't mean it should keep. I'm not saying, yeah, like, exactly. I'm not saying that's right, but I'm saying that like, that's like the, the reason. So all, all, the, all this like pushing, pushing the shifting the blame to others, bro. Like, just deep the fact that this country, the West, probably to be honest, the whole world, yeah, has an issue with racism and colorism. Do you know what I mean, we can't we can't keep running away from this fact and shifting the blame onto others. People need to, you know, accept you that know, it's there. And you know, I it. find it, I find it so funny, fam. When like the English media and English people and like the English government talk about racism, bro. I'm just thinking, bro, this this is a uh, this is a, a thing that you man invented. Like you man, you man introduced racism. Do you know what I'm saying? How dare you, bro? I'm not saying you shouldn't talk about it. Do you know what I'm saying? But it's it's the the irony is sweet, fam. For me, I just yeah, I just think people are shifting the blame onto each other too much, and we need to we need to deal with it, bro. It's it's. Because there's some people saying like, oh. What do you think should be done? Well, well in terms of like the actual result, people, some, there's some people saying like, oh, we should have won so that this wouldn't come up. But then it exists anyway. Do you mm. know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to win and it be hidden because it still exists no matter also, what. Also, I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know about you, but I'm not really a big fan of like people saying, oh, yeah, like Rashford like raised this amount of people, saved this. Oh, and... yeah, 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 bro. I hate that. So if you didn't do it, would it be okay? Exactly. Exactly. What is what is this like? Bram- promises that we always have to like people that are like who don't look like they're from this country or who don't like or you don't they don't like physically fit what you think it belong is an Englishman. Yeah. Why is their Englishness? I guess depending on how well they do and what they do. do you know what I mean, at the end of I mean, the day, yeah, bro, yeah. It's, it's football. He missed a penalty, man. Bro, ha- bro, life goes bro, on. Man and pe- bro, man and miss penalties in school playgrounds, bro. I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying you can't scrutinize him in a football way. Be like, oh, if it if it's shit, say shit. There's no need for like personal attacks and stuff like that. It's like that lady. Let's pull up her name. Stupid bitch. Let me see. What was her name? 
You know what I'm talking about? This MP yesterday. So when she when he when she met her, oh when... oh yeah when she was like oh you um he should have been uh, focusing on thing rather than doing politics or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, th- th- there was one guy on LBC who was like she clearly thought um that it would go down well with a group chat. Hence oh, why James she actually O'Brien. sent it. Cruising Be- in the land. Because truck. yeah, she she tweeted there. She's not Natalie. Elphick. I'm gonna call her Elphica. She's a stupid. Elphic. <laughs> Elphic just sounds dumb as as it is, bro. I can't lie. Do you know I mean it's like, it's like Spanish for the stupid. Uh-huh. Elphic. And uh what's called? Ba, 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 ba. All right. Let me see. So she said they lost. Would it be ungenerous to suggest? Is ungenerous a word? Isn't it in I don't know, man. No, That's no, no. ingenuous, ingenuous or in- is it disingenuous? Disingenuous. <laughs> <laughs> Um, ungenerous to suggest Rashford have spent should have spent more time perfecting his game and less time playing politics. Now, do you know why that is stupid? Yeah, because you as we politics said because so because many them, times, them, man. Yeah, as we said so many times, if he misses a penalty, I right, cool, we go home. That's it at the end of the day. No one loses their life. Yeah, mm. if your policies are stupid and you don't represent people properly, it is proven that you are the Tory austerity, not not. Uh, feeding the kids, blah blah blah, all that stuff is literally leading to people dying. So your job has more um, at stake. But you think, why don't you spend more time perfecting what you do then? Yeah, you instead of talking about football. Do you know what I mean? Well, there's no stakes to football. It's just what it is. <laughs> Obviously, uh, and this is coming from me as someone who loves football. Bro, you know, you saw how sad I was yesterday. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> do you want me to get into that? Oh, so yeah. I like. Cause you're a liar. Yeah, I cried, but I didn't cry, bro. Bro, you, are, bro, nah. you, you did, you did, you did cry. Well, I didn't cry, bro. I saw tears uh, in your on your in your eyelashes, bro. Well, I didn't cry. How about that? I, bro, if I cried, I would tell you I cried. Bro, I saw. Time, well, well, like, if there was, if I cried, I would have told you I cried. There was a time I was almost gonna cry today though. It was because basically I've been scrolling for TikTok yet. Everything is about the game, bro. It's kind of pissing off, yeah. I've been blocking everyone that posts about the game. Um, but it was a video of like. Or was a picture of like you know back in '96 when uh, Gary Southgate misses. misses one yeah. and Terry Venables was like hugging him and consoling yeah, him. Then he they had the picture Southgate. of it, yeah, Saka. like consoling Saka, and I was like, oh I can't lie, I feel for Gary Southgate like to uh, you know come full circle like that. Do you know what I mean? Bro, it ha- bro, it happens. Bro, it's football, bro. It ha- bro, McGregor busts up his ankle, fam. His ankle is detached from his leg, fam. It happens yeah, in sports, game, bro. No, nah, it's. No nah, man, no. I'm, 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 not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Listen, when I say it happens in football, I'm not saying it's not sad. It is it's so sad? Yeah, it's sad, but it happens, bro. Listen, but it, it's not. It happens. It's, it's, it's peak. But at the same time, when you put it in context, like when you compare it to something like politics, bro, your politics literally take lives. Your politics literally are ruining people's lives. They lead people to killing themselves because the, their disabled allowance has been cut, stuff, things like that. Funding for this and that has been cut. And you're worried about whether we missed a penalty or not. Do you know what I mean? Like you've been waiting, you've been praying on someone's downfall. Do you know what I mean? How much, and how that's long not, that's, that's not the only MP, bro. You got to think about it, G. Like, you, no one, like, did, 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 like, you really think any of the MPs came up and be like, no, nah, bro, like, Oh, I, I, unless, uh, apart from the person that snitched on the thing, on the MP, who yeah, leaked the screenshot, clearly she thought that was going to go down well, and she thought that, yeah, like, it would, it, it would run, so. Probably did as well, you know. Uh, yeah, exactly. Probably did as well. Bro, but at the, end of the, at the end of the day, blood, yeah, cool. If we lost, cool, fam. Hold that L. It was, people had a good, people had a good day. Do you know what I'm saying? Until, until uh, like, some people after. It was a good game. Do you know what I'm saying? Bob, like, life goes on, fam. Yeah. There's bigger things to be worried about, like people getting people getting their benefits cut, people being homeless. People not feel eating. it. I know. I, I like feel upset. It's calm to feel upset. Yeah, man. But why are you taking out on other people, bro? And uh, to be honest, I feel like uh, this is a conversation. Well, I mean, we're having it, like, but everyone that's listening to this, like, they're gonna they're, they're gonna think the same thing anyway, innit? You know what I'm saying? But if you if you did think that it was okay to be racist, or if you did have, like have racist, if the, if if when the players missed the penalty, and the first thing you know was the skin color, please, bro, don't don't listen to the time talk. I think some people need to be careful. Like I know a lot of people are trying to promote this anti-football agenda, 
and stuff like that. I don't know. Some I saw some people were saying like uh, England shouldn't be able to play in the World Cup next year. Why ban the players? Exactly. Do you know what I mean? So what racing's gonna go away because these hard working like, players well, can't play no more? People are just so thick, fam. They just look Bro, for any. Um, they just look for any, anything to scapegoat. They will do it, man. Bro, it's address so what needs to be addressed instead of like, like well. Eh, it makes no sense to me. At the end of the day, okay, you don't like football, yeah. There's no need to be edgy about it. But some the thing is, yeah, people were saying like, "Oh, I'm glad England lost because they don't deserve it." Yeah, you know, I feel like saying I'm glad England lost, yeah, comes with like a pinch of privilege, yeah, because there's people who are who can't be glad that England lost because what was the stat? How much does domestic abuse go up by when England lose? 38%. But apparently, 38%. so I think, but I think yesterday it went up by 50% and racism went up by over 300%. Over yeah, 300%. So all those people. No, racism were, went up by 30%, but domestic violence went up by 50%. All right. So all those people who were, were victims that's of the ones racism. That, and obviously, that's the case that was reported. So the figures, like, I assume it would be higher. You so all the, all, all, the, all the people who were victims of racism and domestic abuse, yeah, do you think they're in a place where they could say, I'm glad England lost? So like even like Saki is mental health. Yeah, imagine how peak that must be. Like people just trying to share about him, and that's on top of like um the the distress of losing the game. Yeah, bro, it's, it's peak. Ah, oh, I felt hella sad when he was crying and that. You know, there was pictures. I I still don't want to look at them. You know, I'm kind of glad that Bang Bang turned the TV off straight away because I I wouldn't I would have cried watching that. But yeah, <clears throat> it's, it's 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 a bit of a depressing one. Like on both fronts, like the racism front. And the fact that we lost. Um, and McGregor lost. Fuck McGregor. I don't care about McGregor, fam. Hey, man. What do you mean, hey? Is, is, hey. is he your dad? Is he your uncle? Is he Could be. Hey? Huh? Could be, man. No, he definitely can't be your uncle. Yeah, for anyone who's listening, like, at all age, all genders, uh, all races, to, like, if, to take these precautions. Don't go to, like... um. To like the inner city, don't go to central. Like if for England, England playing and uh, um, stay like stay as close as close closer to home as possible. Like um, go with a bunch of people. Don't go with like one or two people. Go with as many people as you can. And uh, it's sad. It's sad that I have to say like, like do you know what I'm saying. Like because it probably like, like. Like I read this one tweet where, like I think even you said it before, like people were saying that oh, um as soon as England lost, like they were texting each other or texting their friends and like that we need to get out like quickly because you know there's gonna turn left. Mm-hmm. Where it should where it should just be like cool, like we lost or like they could just go out or like, you know what I'm saying, or walk home or like do you know what I'm saying? Like like have a like the the end of the game was depressing enough. Surely they could just like have do something else after to to end the night in a positive note sort of thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Bro. Um. So yeah, Miles, I would advise everyone to take these precautions, man. Like, if you got younger siblings, to like to to check up on them. Um. Yeah, man, just try to be safe out there as possible, man. And like, I can eat, like, like, I'm not saying that. Like, I'm not. It's, there's no way in me. There's nothing in me that will condone racism. Like, nothing, bro. Especially. My what my people has been through, like my generations have been through, my parents, like my people in the ends, um, where the borough that I come from, the borough I was raised in, there's nothing to me that will condone racism. But like I know that racism is not gonna stop. Do you know what I'm saying? But I could help I could help like I could help someone to take these precautions, do you know what I'm saying? Quicker than I could help end racism, if that's if that's ever even possible. Mm. So yeah, man, just everyone. Just, it's actually better. I'm actually better upset, you know. I'm just thinking like these little kids and I. Like, I'm seeing like little kids in fucking bang bang, yeah. Like, and then like even I like, remember like because they they broke into bang bang and we were like, oh, that's something that we would have done. Do you know I, what I'm saying? I don't mean you, bro. Uh, cool, but it's, <laughs> but I see it's like I see myself in these kids that like, like, do you know what I'm saying? Like that could have easily been. So like I say, like a little. I had, I, I think I was. I don't know if it's real or not, but I saw like a kid go punched up. Like, that could have been me. Like, do you know what I'm saying? When I was a kid. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, not saying that, oh, because it's like, it could have been me. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm upset. But, like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it could have easily been that. So, it is, it's, it's hella upset, man. But everyone just stay safe. Um, yeah, man, that's, that's it, man. Just stay, stay in large groups. Um, 
But yeah, man, that's 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 about it, man. Stay stay in familiar settings. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, that's about it, man. What do you think? I I agree in it. Obviously, you got to take precaution. Um, we can't be naive, as you said. Like at the end of the day, it's it's not like we can be like, oh yeah, racism is bad, and then it's gonna stop. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but it, yes, it's, it's never gonna be like that. So obviously, you got to take precautions to. To, to do what you can in it to protect yourself and stay safe. But I think at the end of the day, and at the same time. Sorry, sorry. One more, one more. Sorry, one more thing. Yeah, and I would advise anyone to see if anyone that's that's any anyone is being a victim to speak up on it. Anyone that like, if it's it doesn't matter, bro. Like, if anyone's like, just speak. Like, do something. If you see someone being a victim of anything, do something about it. Don't just like video it. Or something like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like maybe video it so that like, it can like go up on social media and go viral after the f- situation been dealt with. Do something about it, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or e- it couldn't even be like you like going in physically, like trying to defuse the situation. Just try to call someone else or like or yo t- shout at them like t- so that they could like kind of like panic and get away sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. just do something. No, I f- I feel like. Um, but at the end of the day, bro, the like whatever community that you're from, fam, like um, it, it's more like a class thing, isn't it? Like it's just us versus them, basically. Is what I'm trying to say, bro. So us, we need to look after each other. We have to look after each other, bro. It can't be like, like there's is. I, I feel like there needs to be uh, like more unity, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? It's always gonna be us versus them. Fam. We have to look after each other, bro. We have to call these things out. We have to do. We have to. We have to be proactive. It's not talking about as cool, but we have to be proactive now, man. But not, bro. How can it look, bro? I, bro, picture this, bro. How people that are texting each other that yeah, get home, like get home now, bro. That that's so fucked, fam. For a country that was built by diversity, a country that was that was that got dumped by German. And immigrants built this country up here yeah, to what we see to what we see now, and their kids are, are going through that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hundred percent. It's bro, I can't lie. It's upsetting, fam. How can a 19 year old kid, bro, yeah, go to the fucking finals, yeah, play in Wembley, bro, yeah, in fucking Wembley in front of the 90,000? Oh, it was probably the 90,000 people because of COVID restrictions and that, but in front of all these people and miss a penalty, bro. Go to fucking power league, yeah. I play five a side. I take a penalty and see if you see if you take see if you score that in front of in front of nine other men. Let's see if you score that. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And now imagine doing that in front of nine ninety thousand people and all. There's so much at stake. It's the finals. There's so much at stake. You've paid played for what hundred and what hundred has one hundred twenty minutes, hundred and twenty minutes. Do do that after. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? And you play the whole fucking tournament. You be training. You be doing all of this. You traveled for other countries. You traveled to other countries during the tournament as well. You're exhausted, fam. You're, bro. You're, you're, you're exhausted. And people leave a monkey emojis in people's pe- like. It's a joke, too. And if you know anyone that's done that, bro, call them out in it, bro. Call them out in it. Do you know what I'm saying? Because all these people got friends, fam. Everyone, like everyone, left the monkey emoji. They got a friend. They got siblings. Do you know what I'm saying? So, it, bro, it's, 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 it's this, this country's a mess. It's been a mess, man. But this country's a mess, bro. And the worst thing is, nothing's going to happen. <laughs> all these people that's leaving up, like monkey emojis, that are doing all this racist shit. If you're not CEO or that manager or that real estate agent is going to lose his job. There's been racist he, teachers. I, I think he will. I think he, they, they, they contacted his uh, workplace already and they're going to do an investigation into it. Um, bro, that's what I'm. This is what I'm saying. What is there to investigate? Everything's there, fam. Like you have to, you have to, you have to see these things. And do you know what I mean? Because basically, if you know, if you fire someone like in a minute, you're liable. Do you know what I mean? If if like even there's a small chance of anything happening, yeah, you obviously want to do it the right way, in it. Yeah, in terms of like for a company, you know? but yeah, I, I agree in it. Like even for me, bro, like investigation, investigation's gonna go on. The thing's gonna blow over. And he's, he's, he's still going to be manager, fam. Uh, it's, I have no hope in anything changing. I'm sorry, bro. I can't lie. I disagree, you know. But not in the anything changing thing, but I think in that particular case, it will happen, bro. Because I've seen, so. seen, seen it happen before. Do you know what I mean? 
on social media so many times people will lose their jobs for saying racist shit, which is good, isn't it? You've slightly seen the opposite as well. I haven't. I'm not gonna lie. The Kingsby, uh, there's teachers in Kingsby who's been racist, and that 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 Palestinian thing. There was yeah, another. Need... There was another. There was like a few other racist stuff about Kingsby. They're still working. Yeah, we need an update on that thing. Damn. Mm. Um, oh, yeah, anyway, go on. I think, like you were saying, like people were texting there. Like, for, even for me, when I go home, I got home like uh, like two thirty yesterday. Um, and then like, cause my dad's a taxi driver, innit? And he like he wasn't at home, so I was like, oh shit. Cause I I told like, the things I told him before, innit? I was like, listen, if if England lose, forget work, man. Just don't. So wait, cause, cause sorry, can we just can we just dissect what just happened? Yeah, you just said my dad's a taxi driver, and when he found out that you weren't home, your first re- reaction was, "Oh shit, yeah. bro, come I, on, I bro." It. You get what I'm saying, but I'm, I'm I can't lie, bro. Yeah, the only reason that I'm so pessimistic is that I'm fu- I'm fed up, fam. Yeah, so I I told him before and didn't like even the day before I told him. Listen, if if we if we lose, just just don't go. It's not it's not worth it. Yeah. So then, like, I'm bro, I'm calling him. He don't pick up. So I'm thinking like, he might be with a customer, maybe maybe not. And also, I call from unknown in it, so he might not pick up because unknown. I call him WhatsApp. He's not picking up again. Then I send him a text. I'm like, bro, this guy is not picking up nothing. So I was like, it's, it 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 did feel a bit like, do you know what I mean like um, a bit worrying in it because bro, it was coming to like four o'clock in the morning. I'm thinking, what the hell's going on? Um, because he's, he, I don't like he doesn't really he doesn't really stay out to work like till four o'clock in it, and obviously I can't like you do think the worst. Do you know what I mean like you yeah, can't of sleep? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Thinking oh fuck, and then like I think I I think around like I think after like Fajr time or way past Fajr time actually maybe like come to like four thirty or something. I was like let me call him again, so I called again and he's like and then he picked up I hummed the line it obviously, and then he was like oh yeah don't worry I'm on my way home I was like cool. Cool, cool, cool. Then I could go. I finally got sleep. Oh yeah, you know, he, he was just saying like the the customers just like there was just too many long trips and they took him all the way to like Stratford and that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So obviously, obviously, money wise, it was probably good in it. But I, I was like to him, bro, like listen, at the end of the day, money is not everything, man. Because but and he, I was like, oh, so was anyone racist? And he was like, well, not really. They were just like in the car. Alhamdulillah, obviously, in it because, bro, like, there's people. It, it happens, in it, to taxi drivers where I don't know why. Like, I don't understand what what it's got to do. Like, bro, there's no there's no South Asian players playing, there's no Muslim players playing, yeah. And then and then people would be like, the people would jump in. The, I've seen it like videos of it online, yeah. They'll jump into the car and be like, oh, you, what you're not doing in our country, da da da, all that stuff. Like, huh? What like what you're not doing in our country? Fuck off. Oh yeah. Stuff, uh, it's like, bro, you lost the game of football. What was the need for that? And then he was just like, nah, yeah, they were, they were, they were angry, but they were like, it was like they were quite rowdy, and they were arguing about like, oh, I lost this much money on the the thing, that kind of thing. So he was like, I, I think he felt like uncomfortable in it because they were quite like they were drunk and loud and kind of rowdy in his car, in it. and it can be quite uncomfortable, uncomfortable experience in it. Uh, I I even saw like so after the the World Cup in it. When England lost, there was this there was this Uber driver. He was talking about he, this lady who works for the BBC or something. She was like doing a documentary or like a piece about how he feels when football fans get in his car, and he was like, like literally, like there'll be there'll be times where they'll just get hella abusive, yeah, and he'll feel mad uncomfortable, and then he'll like he'll drop them off, yeah, then he'll drive off. He won't accept like another job, yeah. He'll drive off, find like a small road that's like, pretty safe, yeah, and literally just sit there and like deep what happened for like five ten minutes. And like just like reset himself, uh, to 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 deal with, like mentally deal with what what just happened in it. So I think it's peaking it like uh, yeah, it's it's peak. It's so uh, mental, but it's so like it's such a puts it such a strain. Like I have never been like racially like profiled or whatever or like abused, but I could just I could just like picture it being like so mentally that like, puts a strain on your like your mental like, your mental health and that, bro. Like, I can't, I can't like, you know, even though before I was saying like, oh, we can't just act like it's it's, it's football fans because it's a reflection of whole the, the whole society. Yeah, I think to be honest, most of the times I've been racially abused at football. <laughs> I can't lie. Even even though I, I said mean, like, it's, it's, I mean, that's because the spaces that you're that you're more active in. Yeah, one one of them was. I mean, if you're, kind if you're of Uber driver, that. if you're an Uber driver, say like in Central or like East London or Stratford or something. You might get as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, as in like I'm saying like, f- 
football fans uh, and, and football is probably like where I got most of like where I've had the most racist experiences before. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously when you're from Brent, like you don't really, you do, you do with, uh, as a Muslim, you deal with like Islamophobia and I think a lot of people don't like South Asian people. I'm not going to lie. Um, and a lot of people look down on, on South Asian people and immigrants and, and all that, whatnot, yeah. We need to, well, society as a whole needs to stop shifting blame onto like, and, and trying to be like, oh, well, it's them and it's not us. It's, it's them and it's not us kind of thing. And like, finally just accept that like, yo, there's an issue here and we need to deal with it. And um, you see Gary Neville's um, interview on BBC. Yeah, bro. He's, he's spitting facts, you know? Yeah, Eric, bro, bro. It was it was it was literally up a blow after blow, fam. You know that El Fick uh, lady, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm, yeah. I have a bit more smoke for her as well. You know she's an MP. Yeah? You know the only reason why she's an MP yeah? is she's holding the seat. She replaced her as she replaced her husband as an MP for that constituency. Yeah. You know why she had to replace her husband? Why? He's in pen for sexual assault of his workers in in his office, and apparently. This guy was chasing women around saying, I'm a naughty Tory. <laughs> By the way, I'm not laughing at the fact that he's sexually assaulting people, yeah? But the fact that this man was running around saying, I'm a naughty Tory, fam. What the fuck is that? That's why, bro, when I say... Bro, these men are tapped, fam. That's what I'm telling you, blood. They're, they're, they're finished. Bro, you see, bro, it's like, bro... <laughs> I could see my man yeah, doing the same thing. See what Matt Hancock, Hancock done in the thing, in that interview, where he was like, he's moving bare, like weird with that news report. Mm. I could see my man doing the same thing. They're all cut from the same cloth, man. Yeah, bro. It's, I don't think when it comes to these Tory people, <laughs> these stories, I don't think I don't think it's an individual thing, but I don't think there's any one individual who's different from the rest. I think they're all... They're all, they're all vile, bro. I can't lie. All faces are the same coin, man. Do you know what I mean, bro, Preeti Patel talking about, oh, the racism is bad, bro. She told, she said, she encouraged people to boo the, the, the players taking the knee. They literally said, yo, we're, we're taking the knee because we stand for diversity and equality. Um, we and and um, their argument was that they shouldn't make football political, innit? It was political yeah. now. So, it's come through. And yeah. the worst thing is The only reason why they, Because bro Preeti Patel and Boris Johnson Yeah The only thing they ever talked about In the football was like Oh um, Stop making it political Stop making it political And then the last two games Like the semi-finals And the finals They're out here wearing t-shirts They're out here being like Yo we support the team Just because They know that like Now the England team Is in public favour And if we win they need to be showing the support otherwise it's like it's like a PR PR yeah, opportunity, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because if they're not supporting, they're gonna miss out on a bit of PR and it's like, oh fuck off, man. Do you know what I mean? This this brother was wearing a suit and he was wearing an England top on, on top of the suit and the blazer. Fat bastard. Fat cunt fan. This guy was this guy people you know people uh commenting watermelon uh emojis on on like the, the black players uh instagram and stuff yeah bro it, as gary never said it comes from the top when he was when he was saying like um when hey. Boris johnson was calling people uh black people african people like something about watermelon smiles or something like that and he used another word i don't i don't know if i should repeat or not because i don't know it, it might might be racist isn't it um can i he, wait can i just stop you right there yeah i'm sure that should be like an ancient sort of racist comment you know because i've never heard that word in my life Sorry, that, that one beginning with P in it. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to say it just in case it is racist. I, so. I don't think we should say it. I think anyone who's watching it, they would know it because it's know like a well-known thing, in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've never heard that in my life. Like, even, like, after that, outside of that, yeah, I've never heard of it. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Anyway, that's not the conversation that we need to have right now, but... Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, there you go. He said it right. It starts from, from the very top. Um, how could... How could we expect these, these like this low level scum, yeah, this pub scum, yeah, the, the, not all pub scum, but you know what I'm talking about, innit? You know the demographic that I'm, that I'm talking about, yeah. When people, when the people who they vote for are doing the same shit mm. publicly, and people are voting for these people, do you know what I'm saying? And do you really think that they, do you really think they, they're not gonna come out of power? Do you know what I'm saying, fam? <clears throat> I think I think at the end of the day as well, um, I think obviously we we said quite a lot of things that need to be said. I think we said a lot of things that people already know as well. I think before we finish off, we should maybe have a look through some of the tactics. 
Um, okay, someone said the oh, so it's mostly it's mostly about the game rather than the aftermath and stuff like that. Someone said uh Southgate fucked up by making kids do the penalties, especially Saka. I I agree. I don't I don't think a young kid should be taking the last penalty. Uh the not even the it wasn't even the game winning penalty. If it was if it was like oh if we, we score, he we win the game. But if we don't score, the car- match carries on. That that would be fine. It's common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think doing the, making him take the one that, that saves the game for us. Oh, it's, he's ninety. He's never taken a professional penalty in his life before. Yeah, I heard that. And um, yeah, and he's and he's never he's he never really played for England before this tournament as well, right? Eh? Yeah, bro, all of that. It's just like. But then uh, the thing is, I look. At, I saw like the breakdown of it. Yeah, Jack Grealish has only ever taken one professional penalty in the Premier League as well. Maguire is taking like zero. Uh, Maguire's penny was sick though, by the way. He broke the camera and everything. It was straight into the camera. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's know. it. I think the issue is that there's Henderson was off, Mason Mount was off. Like every all of the players that were still on, they don't take penalties. Do you know what mm. I mean? But I think I think when Sterling is there, when Grealish is there, when Luke Shaw is there, you can't you can't be letting Saka take the last penalty to save the game. I mean, maybe yeah. to win the game, calm, whatever, because you can always carry on after that. Yeah, I agree. And I think so. I I agree with that. But I do think though. I saw I saw somebody tweet like um, Gareth Southgate should have managed the the penalty takers better so there wouldn't be any racist abuse. And I think again, <laughs> what you're deflecting the issue. Like, what the hell does people's response have to, anything to do with Gareth Southgate? Yeah, what, did you think that, South, uh, Garrett, that Southgate is Spanos or something? Like, he just click his fingers and racism's going to stop? Yeah, because at the end of the day, yeah, when I say Saka shouldn't have taken the last penalty, yeah, I don't mean because of the abuse that he would have got. I meant because it's such a high-pressure moment. Professional, yeah, talking about professionally. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm talking about like, I, I agree. T- tactically, do you know what I mean? Tactically, I agree. Because, because whether he misses or not, there should be there should be no abuse. That's 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 irregardless of... of I don't know if that's the word. I learned that from Joey. <laughs> he says irregardless. <laughs> But it's not a word. That's, that's not a reliable. That's not a reliable source. <laughs> I think the joke in the show that is it's not a word, isn't it? But oh. regardless, yeah, he shouldn't be facing abuse either way. I I say tactically, he shouldn't have been taking that penalty. Yeah. But in terms of like strategically thinking about racism, bro, Gareth Southgate shouldn't have to think about racism. Exactly, bro. He's he's there trying to. Think he's not. He wasn't thinking about race. Thing. He thought you. Well, he wasn't really thinking much about the game either because he put Saka on. But I, I think I think somebody was saying. Well, a lot of people said that maybe he was like he put the black players on at the end to save it as a way like kind of like a win for the country kind of thing do you know what I mean like getting them in favor do you know what I mean but that but, bro, if if that if bro, I'm, I'm just thinking what could it be yeah? but if I I'm not I'm, I can't I can't like I can't, can't dwell go, on how to go into that territory can't go into that yeah, territory man, bro. you're gonna be yeah, in your feel yeah. your feelings your thoughts it's, it's a deep well man but yeah. we got world cup next year man it's something to look forward to bro I can't like I think Let's see, let's see, let's see how things that go. I, 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 I think we might have to be ruthless and, and get rid of Southgate. I agree. If if there's a better opportunity, like for me, I say Antonio Conte. I can't lie, but I don't see it happening. Uh, Is he French? No, he's Italian. Oh, but we've had. Have, we, ha- have we had foreign um like yeah, English managers? Okay, yeah. no, it's Fabio Capello. Uh, Svengor and Ericsson that's the only two I can think of <laughs> Cause I think someone was talking about in my, in my barbers they're saying that there they came a point where they only start using English players I mean English uh, managers I think most of the time they have those Those are the only two I can remember that have been foreign uh, Capello and Svengor and Ericsson I can't remember any other ones because we, well, we ended up with fucking Steve McLaren for one World Cup or Euros I can't remember that guy was shit man I don't know, man. Um, I can't, so bro. I can't live. I'm seeing all these tweets here about I don't know how you, how guys watch this every like every week here, yeah? bro. And I fully agree, fam. I can't do this, bro. I watched. I was like properly involved in this for like three weeks. I think because the group stages were a bit boring. I got, I got like I was start regularly watching it after a little while, innit? Yeah. yeah. But I think when you watch football weekly, it's it's less. Do you become immune to it? No, no, not only become immune to it, but like for example, a Premier League is a marathon, not a, not a sprint. It's thirty eight games. If you lose a game, there's a game next week. Yeah, yeah. I mean, unless you're Arsenal, if you lose a game, you're losing next week again. Yeah. Well, there you go. 
<laughs> it, it is it is i can't lie it's bad like when you get to like the cup competitions and the finals and the final stage it's bad for your heart rate i can't lie it's bad um someone said southgate's a sausage should have let Grealish take one and brought him on earlier i do agree i do agree Grealish should have came on earlier man. Uh, apparently so Grealish tweeted uh, so yeah yeah was, he wanted to take it innit everyone was slating him saying like oh why didn't you take one why did you let Saka take one he was like I wanted to take it and the gaffer chose but the gaffer yeah, I did see the Southgate going around seeing like first second third fourth so he went up to eight like he was like tap it like you know like when when the, your P teacher's like picking numbers yeah, yeah. like one two three one like that. two yeah yeah, yeah do you know what I mean so I think it, it was on Southgate but at the end of the day um, yeah, I think I don't think Southgate's the greatest coach to take us forward. Um, someone yeah, deep said, Minor setback, World Cup 2022. Here we come, and I agree. I think we could do it, but I'm gonna get a sterling top for next year, still. I think this this was our easiest chance to win a trophy mm-hmm. because we'll, I don't think we'll ever have a cup r- a run into the finals like we did yeah. this time because. The run was pretty easy. I think, I know, like, we're not trying not to slander the players right now, yeah? But Rice and Phillips is not the midfield. I can't lie. There's, it's, like, it's like we're playing without a midfield. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. Reminds me of prime Lampard ball. There's well, just no midfield. You say prime Lampard, there's no midfield? No, prime Lampard ball when he was manager of Chelsea. Oh, oh. There, there was a period where we weren't playing with any midfield. We'll just be knock it out wide, try and cross it in, but we, but we don't cross it in. We knock it out wide. We just keep the ball, and then yeah. recycle it go to the other side. Um, so I think, you know, we've got so many good attacking players. We need to start like behaving like we do. <laughs> I mean, mm. um, let's see. And someone someone DM'd me actually. Someone said, the only problem with mandatory IDs is that it will penalise whistleblowers and those discreetly trying to highlight human rights abuses. That that's true actually. Um, so like for example people who are like in like countries that are under like a dictatorship or a, or a bad regime and they're like tweeting about what's happening and stuff but that shit would never that, that shit ain't happening in North Korea man so like for example even like for, for, think about it like in Palestine yeah you see when people like video what's happening or they post about what's happening and stuff the Israeli government could easily just contact Twitter and be like if it was ID, ID based contact Twitter and be like yo sell us the details and then we're going to punish them. Do you know what mm. I mean? Mm. So I think it is a bit techy in, in that in that sense. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, yeah, that's that's a bit of a sticky one. But I think... Bro, at the end of the day, we're not politicians, bro. Do you know what I'm saying, man? It's it's not... Uh... No, but some, something needs to be done. And I think as well... It does, I think it does, man. A lot, uh, obviously, everyone deals with racism in different ways, isn't it? Yeah. But... For me, I don't want to have like this defeatist attitude because, in a sense, you know, when people were like, Oh, well, I don't care about this country anyway because they're racist. But at the same time, yeah, for me, the way I see it yeah, is like, Yo, I was it is your country, here. yeah. Oh, like, what makes me different to the people who are like who, the people who want me to not claim this country as well? So, I mean, what makes me different to them? Uh, bro, I was, bo- I was, I was, no, I was in like in terms of like nationality, bro. I was born in this country. Do you, know what I mean? I, you have seasoning in your food. Uh, yeah, but uh, no, on a, on a serious, on a serious note, do you know what I mean, like these people who see themselves as like British or English or whatever. Yeah, I was literally born in this country. I'm not gonna turn them, turn my back on it and be like, you know what? Well, I don't care because they're all racist. I want England to be better. Do you know what I mean, I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but at the end of the day. I'm not going to, like, ignore it and be like, well, I, I don't care. It is what it is. Or that's just the way it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, nowadays, surely, like, if someone was to say, like, oh, yeah, go back to where you come from, you're going to catch an Uber to Brent. Is that, <laughs> you know what, what, is, is that what we were talking about a couple of episodes before when we were talking about how Hassan Minaj said that we have the audacity of equality? Do you know what I mean? We can't mm. stop. People being like, oh, well, I want England to lose because they're racist anyway. Bro, this is your country. Bro, okay. just wait. Just look at the players behind you. Yeah, look, look, bro. Look, that's well. They, they, they should throw me in there to add some uh, Asian persuasion. I can't lie. That's the next step. I can't lie because <sighs> ain't that Bengali half? Is it half Bengali half? Uh, oh, black? Hamza, Hamza Chowdhury, yeah. Yeah, it's, half, yeah. Uh, it's from Grenada. 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 
See, without moustache, man, it, no, you ain't been the same. Listen, it's the next step because you, there's no way you're telling me. The is it good? Of, the amount, listen, the amount of Somalis in this country that kick ball, yeah, and you tell me one of them is not good enough to make it into a Premier League team. Let me tell you who is. It's Islamophobia, yeah. And no one, no one tried to tell me it isn't, yeah. Because I think I must have told you the last this last week. One it's of big my, booty uh, behavior, a big booty <laughs> phobia, man. And even Yaya Torre was saying, yeah, one of the best attributes of a player who dribbles a lot is a big booty. Yeah, and he spoke, spoke about uh, um, Hazard as well, wasn't it? Yeah, bro, but it's it's facts because yeah, it gives you like a center of gravity, it gives you balance when you're dribbling and stuff like that. It gives that's you. That's like, why he's so good at football, eh? But I have no back. That's why I'm not. I'm that's why I'm shit at football. This guy, man. Brother, I wish I had one just for, just for that skill. <laughs> but, bro, honestly, yeah, I, I think I must have said this in last week's one, but it was probably not going to come out right now. But a good way to see if people are Islamophobic is if they hate on um, Asians, South Asians and yeah, Somalis. Somalis yeah, because, yeah. again, like, there's no link to us other than the fact that we, we kind of emigrated here at the same around the same time, but also that we have, like, we have a shared religion as well. I think mm. a lot of people don't like Muslims, obviously. And, uh, and I think... Even with like South Asians, I've heard it from like the older generation, yeah. The way that the players were treated because bear of them, like, bro, you're telling me in the 70s and 80s and 90s, whatever, when bear South Asians were like immigrating here, yeah. And bear of them were obviously born here, and then they obviously love football, blah blah, blah Liverpool, Man United, and they tried out for teams. You tell me none of them were good enough to get into like at least like a championship team or something like that, yeah, at least like, like Swansea or some shit. Do you know what I mean, bro? I, I've I've literally heard stories here where, like, for example, one uncle like got injured, yeah, and then the coach came to him and said, like, listen, we don't really care about you too tough to get you into that recovery mode. So, like, I think you call it end of the uh, 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 call it a day. Do you know what I mean, because we don't we, like uh, you know you're not gonna get the same treatment, as in not treatment as in like medical treatment, but like treatment as in like care and affection and like time and care to like nurse you back to health and then put you back into the team. Like once you're injured, because uh, that does happen to a lot of players. Like once you're injured, you're out of, out of the picture. But mm. with a lot of South Asian people, it was like the first chance they got, like you're out of the picture. Then, it could be a headache, and they're like, yeah, yeah. Listen, you can't treat that, man. You gotta go, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but is that a sneeze? Fuck out of here. <laughs> I think I think that's the next step. Because bro, look at look at look at France, bro. These man, these man, you know, these men are getting the the Algerian players, the Muslim players, bro. I don't, I've, I don't. Are, are there any Muslim players that play, have ever played for England? I'm, I'm bro. People, people have been claiming. not Muslim. People have been claiming uh, Luke uh, Shaw. Uh, uh, <laughs> what? That's how much we're we're fighting for scraps. That somebody made a rumor that Luke Shaw is Muslim. Bro, I can't lie. There was one. There was one. Um, uh, thing game here yeah, where Sterling was like this in it, yeah. And I was like, oh, this is Russia interesting. Does that as well. And Tammy Abraham, but they're not Muslim, man. But I think that's I think that's the next step, you know. We need to get some 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 Bengalis in there. Preferably throw, throw, me, throw me in the centre mid, man. No, no, our, our time is gone. I'm just I'm just I'm what I'm doing is I'm 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 planting the seeds now so that my son can like become a baller in it. You send him to Clive. Yeah, that's my guy. But yeah, at the end of the day, I think like it's it, obviously racism in, in the UK. It's a big issue. You, racism is whole blood clot, don't you, to be honest. Um, and we need to deal with it instead of like shifting blame or hiding from it or like making excuses for it. We need to There's deal no with excuse. It. Yeah, no excuse. Yeah. For and also we need to, I feel like oh, it is hard, isn't it? Like to not be defeated. I understand why people react that way. Um, <clears throat> and I think in terms it's, of England. It's a constant battle, man. Yeah. Because you think about it, the racism that we go through now like like online and that is like is is a progress from the racism where like the Bengalis from Brick Lane faced or like oh. the black people in Brixton or in Harsden and Tottenham and that. Do you know what I'm saying? You, you know, like in like Tottenham Court Road, East London, all those places, yeah. Bengali people had to like all their all their like gangs came from the fact that like the police weren't helping them when they got racially abused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. they were, I saw, I saw, like, I, saw do, I saw that documentary where yeah, black people yeah. that were like, oh yeah, like. These are like my brothers, man. Like we all find the same thing, and like the police are like, uh, it was it was in Brick Lane, man. Yeah, there's one, there's one where this guy, like, this guy, he must have been walking down, and this bunch of white boys just like chased him down the street, and they fucked him up like differently, yeah. And then I think after that, all his boys were like, listen, the police saying the police didn't help. The police came around and were like, okay, whatever, and then just left. And they were like, if the police aren't gonna help, if nobody's gonna help, we're gonna like literally hang around on the road, and if any trouble happens, we're gonna deal with it ourselves. Like the neighborhood watch sort of thing. 
Yeah, do you know what I mean? Did you um, know, yeah, in uh, when black people came to uh, this country, yeah, like, see, like, black authors and that, they uh, couldn't get their, their literature published, in it? Like, because they, they, it's called, pop, pop, uh, was it published housing? A publishment out, publishing sound, houses. Like, yeah. So no, none of the, like, the, none of the, uh, the houses was going to take in uh, black authors, yeah? So black people, they started their own thing and start, like, uh, and black authors start putting the literature out for, like, black uh, publishing houses. I think that's pretty sick, you know. I can't lie. It's sad, but I think that's it's a uh, it's pretty sick. It's what pretty you gotta fact. do, man. You you gotta put you gotta put yourself on at times. Yeah, man. Because other people aren't gonna do it for you. Um, and I think, yeah, we just got obviously. I I know at the end of these kind of episodes, people want you to come up with a solution, but like at the same time, we're just human, isn't it? Like, <laughs> bro, I, I'm a boy from Britain, man. I can't do nothing, man. You know what I mean? I could I could maybe end up at Wembley one day. Yeah, why, why, bro, why do, why do you sound like uh, Cat? What's his name, Cat? The guy from um, he's in My Wife and Kids, but he's also he's ah, he's always cussing Kevin Hart. Cat, 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 Cat Williams. Cat Williams. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell do you sound like him? <laughs> I don't know, but I thought I I forgot that guy was even existing, man. Yeah, I just, I remember I just remember seeing a video of him beating up like a fifteen year old. Like, yeah, time. bro. No, 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 no. The fifteen year old was beating him up, fam. <laughs> but that don't had him a toe cold, bro. I remember he was watching that in six form. Yeah, up like he, he was had him up against the wall or something, innit? it? In like yeah, 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 yeah. That's a stinker, man. Yeah. That's a stinker. But, but I yeah, think, man. yeah. This 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 idea of like oh because because this country is racist we can't support the team bro again as you said look at the players behind us bro they ain't done nothing wrong me me as a fan I ain't done nothing wrong <laughs> I mean talk, talk about banning us from the next World Cup listen we need to deal with the issues that are there and stop hiding from them and stop shifting the blame and then again in terms of football in the actual England squad I think it happens they gave us good memories um, an amazing summer unbelievable nights. Yesterday, last, bro, last night was actually one of the best nights I had, bro. I can't lie. Unbelievable. It was so Life. fun, fam. And if 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 they if if we're privileged enough and lucky enough to live through to next year to see it, I hope people pattern up and start, you know, respecting the players. Um I hope Gareth Southgate kind of patterns up a little bit. He's kind of cute, but he we needs to be a bit more ruthless and pick the right team and right 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 management, all that stuff. Um Otherwise, he's going to have to go. He's going to have to get sacked. Mm. Um, and I hope, I hope, yeah, all these salty angry, uh, anti-England fans can get a life, yeah, because I'm seeing Scotland and Welsh fans, yeah, celebrating like they won a trophy yesterday. You might have supported five different teams on the way to us getting to the final and finally got a win against us. Apparently, Germany were going to humble us. Did they humble us, bro? Not even close. Apparently, apparently Denmark were going to humble us. Did they humble us, bro? <laughs> Even apparently Italy were gonna humble us. I don't feel humble. That's not my humbled face, bro. They won a penalty. I can't in penalties, bro. It can go either way, man. Honestly, I mean, man. Uh, obviously hats off to them. They were probably they were the best team in the tournament. But I'm not humbled. We yeah. did sick. We were amazing. We scored bro. in like in a minute and a half, bro. We conceded two goals all all tournament. Yeah, exactly. It's something to build on. We'll be okay. Life goes on. It was a happy memory. The the people. In the future, might regret, it, but I won't regret because I lived through this shit and I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. man, that's a yeah, I mean, man. Do you know what I mean? Also, like, I was seeing like people like have like come together to watch it with the families and that. Uh, do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's 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 like it's it's, it's a beautiful thing, man. Do you know what I'm saying? In a time where like like people like people are passing away and like, bro, this year and a half bro, has been hell for everyone, bro. Mm. It's been so like it's been so draining, yeah. And these kids, fam, they they literal kids, bro. Like, what the fuck were we doing when when I was nineteen, fam? I, I was getting I was getting chased out of sixth form, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So these kids are like literally bringing so much happiness and like like beautiful memories. Yeah. And I hope next let's, year let's... They're, they're thanked for it. And I hope throughout this yeah, year man. they're thanked for it as well. Instead yeah, of all this nonsense about, bro, we're asking too much for them. We're asking them to be. Uh, uh, the Ray does all this nice social work and stuff, yeah. And people are asking him this and that of him. Let him live, man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Let them live, bro. It's sad, yeah, that we had to, like, this could have been an episode, yeah. Even if they're lost, there could have been an episode of, like, oh, like, reflection. Or, like, the is memories. A nice time. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. positive reflection. 
I got actually, you know, you know, still what, time. You, 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 know still what, you, you know what? Fuck the racist, yeah. I'm not talking about them no more because it, it's, it's already f- fuck Preeti Patel, fuck Boris Johnson, fuck anyone who's who, who's racially abusing people out on the streets, fuck anyone who's racially abusing the players on the on 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 social media, and fuck you if you're a racist, and that's it. All right, cool. <laughs> What was your favorite? What was your favorite memory in the, in the tournament? I f- in the whole I tournament. The in the yeah. whole tournament. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Yeah, yesterday, yeah, when um someone, I think someone must have dropped Sterling, and he and it's not, and they tried to be like, oh, like kind of, kind of like console him or whatever. Yeah, he must have pushed him away, and he like, you know, he says like, I'll move, man. Like I'll cut, man. Like, like you know, what I'm saying like a like a true boy from Brent would have done, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? But yeah. whatever, I can't remember. Man. I've, I've, I, like, I don't know. I have shit memory when it comes to these things. I, I, I think my favorite memory is going to be the same as everyone else. Is when, for me, it's it's a toss up between Shaw's goal yesterday. Shaw's goal was good. Shaw's goal was and bro. when Pickford saved Jorginho's penalty. Yeah, yeah, you know. Bro, what, yeah. I can't lie. <sighs> bro, unbelievable. I, I, I had belief then that we were going to win both, yeah. both, both moments, and I'll hold on to that for a while. <laughs> Sounds cheesy, but it is what, isn't it? You know what I mean, yeah, those are probably my two favorite teams. Uh, two favorite moments. I would also say the... probably a Sterling's opening goal from uh, I think it was, was it a Germany game? Is that a game that Harry Kane scored? Yeah. The penalty after he didn't score. Was that Ukraine? Ukraine? That's Denmark. Denmark, yeah, 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 yeah man. What a what 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 a team, man. What what. A... Give a round of applause. Round of applause. Was there one? On the, was there a Titan take on the, the other one? Let's have a look. Uh, someone said, "Feel like Italy should have got a red card when Saka was pulled down. They played really rough." I saw a lot of people saying that when Chiellini. It was, I'm not gonna lie, he pulled him back very hard and his shot. Oh, I swear, it's a red card. Yeah. Only if if he, if he was at the last goal. Sign. Yeah, yeah. I think halfway line is a bit too, it's yeah. a bit too far from the goal. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, what, did, what, he, did he hold a yellow though? He, he got a yellow card. Yeah. I feel like that's like he, like there's. Yeah. I feel like that's justified. I, I, I think when it came to like when you, the thing is when you're watching it with the man them at like, bang bang. Yeah. Bro, mm. even if they like tickled any of the English players, yeah, I was like, send them off, yeah, send yeah, them yeah. off, yeah, yeah. And then they go, referees the wanker. <laughs> Bro, I can't lie, it was lit. It was lit. It was lit, man. It was lit. Um, should we should we finish off? This what this is what I'm saying. Yeah, like see everyone, see like, even like us, man. Yeah, because we yeah. there was a, quite a few of us on our table, innit, yeah? yeah. Like, there's like. Aside from a few of us, yeah, there's a lot, like a lot of people that was there. We all, we have like very different walks of life. Do you know what I'm saying? But we're all sitting the same table, all like cheering the same people, like do you know what I'm saying? Like all like conversating and talking to each other. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think that's so sick, fam. Johnny, it's, lit, bro. it's, it's lit. Cold. Yeah, man. I think that's a good positive note to end on. I think all we gotta say is uh, fuck the racists and uh, all the English players. All the England players and the manager, thank you for the memories. Good night. It's coming up to Brent next year, boy. <laughs> uh, 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 uh.